Oh, I don't like feeling like this. The cutlass steel. My god, you should have seen that coming, CIG. And I'm gonna say sorry in advance to you guys. I feel that I'm pretty disappointed in this concept and I'm pretty sure that a little bit of that is gonna make it into the video. Don't worry about me though, I'm doing great. I'm actually better than ever. I'm actually really happy with everything that's going on in my life. So any spiciness is just localized to this ship. I'm fine. And I want you to comment your comments if you feel similarly to me. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifire. Today is the 12th day of Luminaria, CIG release 316 to live, which I haven't and won't really cover because it's a bunch of quality of life stuff, the jump town stuff, and a Gravlev update. So I don't want to insult your intelligence, I'm not going to make any videos about it because it's really nothing more complicated and I don't feel it's worth making content over. They also just released the Cutlass Steel. A $100 ship with four miniguns, a remote turret, and no cargo. It's obviously meant to compete with other ships such as the Prowler and the Valkyrie, but it does put a bunch of guns in a tiny space with a tiny bit of Drake protection. Now, they could balance this tougher than expected as it's intended to be used during Jump Town, and they don't want their new Spruce Goose to be a dog, right? They want it to be good. But my god man, a $135 premium for one turret, four door guns, some missiles, and some chairs. Info can be found in the brochure, and I know that in the past when developers were asked how they choose the price of a concept, they said that they'd look at the cost of the total components as part of the ship. So they look at the shields, the weapons, the hull, the power plants, and they also consider what special types of gameplay the pledges will offer, such as money-making potential and other factors. This is 18 seats plus two plus a turret plus guns. Can you imagine how epic it would be for a single dismount with a man pad to take out one of these fully kitted out and fully loaded up? One shot, 20 people dead. <laughs> Fucking epic. So we have a factor in the military that's called consolidation of assets, and that is when your force would give the enemy an opportunity to inflict more damage than standard. This would be like putting all of your planes in a nice little line for the enemy to strafe in one pass, or putting all of your navy in one port so one bomb could take out many ships at once. This ship is a consolidation of assets. It's half of one server in one ship. It makes no sense to take this over a hoplite with the protection and the pilot served weapons on the nose. Ramp at the rear and a small squad in the back. If you lose one, you lose five or six guys. Many hoplites offers the enemy more targets, but those targets are also based on medium fighters. Warships. These ships are made for war and they're able to defend against both ground and air assets. So you see, this makes this ship even less appealing, more dangerous, and less of a value, both tactically and by its design. You shouldn't want to risk putting your butt in a Drake Steel. Should you pay $235 for a converted $100 cargo ship? I'm done with that line of thoughts, and that is the root of my disappointment when I saw this released. I had actually thought it would be very cool if CIG would give us a buck for the 12th day as a gift that would convert a base black to the steel, right? No. They gave us a short q and I have that linked up for you right now. The flight deck is fully unchanged from the base black. There's no room for cargo boxes, but you can drop your stuff on the ground and it'll be hard to get a speeder or buggy in there with the seats and the guns. The door guns cannot yet be swapped out, but they plan for that in the future. The components are 100% copy paste from a stock black. All the seats have gun racks. The remote turret is controlled only by the co-pilot. There's no extra medical support. It's heavier, so it'll fly a little bit worse than a black. It has no extra armor over the black, according to the Q&A, despite the brochure claiming that there's military spec armor. So can you please clarify which it is? The pilot's view is the same as the black, and in the future, when AI blades are added as a gameplay option, the rear turret can be automated eventually. This continues to seem like a worse value. On sale today with LTI Warbond is 210 or 235 with credit plus your six months. You can get four Cuddies Warbond for 550 LTI locked in a pack together or pay 610 credit to get that same thing with six months insurance. There are a bunch of paints ranging from four to seven bucks. And in closing, I really want to know if I'm being too hard on CIG. Am I crazy or does this just not make any sense? I feel that they've continued to push the community's limits and one easy way to express that opinion back to them would be to not buy this concept. I do like how easily that name is punned though. The Steel, right? The Cutlass Steel? It's perfect. I'm done. I hope you guys have a great holiday with your family. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.